Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So if you want to know lesson two of shorthand, stay tuned. Hi, so how much time lesson one natin? So we madu mubu na ba yung ilong? And I believe enjoyin lang natin yung pag-aaral. And thank you po sa lahat ng mga nag-comment, lahat ng mga nag-message at yung mga first upload natin na as tayo shorthand, grabe talaga. Sa lahat ng mga nag-subscribe At sa lahat ng mga nag-comment So mami yung mag-shout out ako So okay na So if you are now excited For our lesson 2 Get your notebook And your ball pen So be ready Ihanda ang isipan Ihanda ang puso And let's start now So ayan So let's start our lesson 2 So please don't forget Our lesson 1 Kasi gagamitin natin Yung mga letters From lesson 1 Combined to the lesson In uh, lesson 2. So, the first set of le letters we will discuss in lesson 2 are letters O, R, and L. So, bakit sila yung mga letters na magkakasama? Simply because yung stroke nila ay magkakamuka pero magkakaiba ng size. Okay? So, for the symbol stroke of letter O, ganito siya. Ayan ang itsura niya. Okay? So, yung letter R naman ay pag ganito. Okay? R. Yung letter L, ayan, mas mahaba. So, magkaiba lang siya sa sizes. So, yung O, short. Yung R, medium. And yung large, ayun, mas mahaba. So, parang Nike, ganyan. Okay, so let's start with the sample words in letter O. So, don't forget that the pronunciation of this vowel is O. O. Okay? So, for example, the word no. Spell what you hear. No. So, we have... Ayan, No. Next, yung word na to. Even to, pwede. Or to. Is represented by this. So, alam nyo, tatandaan nyo yung stroke ng letter T. Next is yung word na do. Do. Or do. Is represented by this one. Ayan. Another one sa so, O, oh, we have so. So, we have S, O. Oh. So, uh, for example, the word phone. Spell what you hear? Phone. So, since we do not have, we do not have P pa already, right? So, since we do not have letter P, di ba? It yung, so, we pronounce the word phone as like F, foam, phone. So, we pronounce the word phone as like F. So, we will use F-O-N for the word phone. Ayan. Next, vote. Vote. So, mas mahaba V-O-T. Ayan. So, vote. Next is own. Own. So, yung shorthand sa own is vote. Ito yung vote. Ayan. So, yung shorthand sa on is this. Ayan. So, parang na-adjust natin yung letter O. Para mas mabilis magsulat. Ayan. So, pag straight line siya, yung O, na-adjust na lang din ng patagilid. Next is yung word na stone. Stone. Spell what you hear. So, is stone. Is T-O-N. Ito na yung O niya. Okay? So, ito na yung O niya. Stone. Na-adjust yung letter O. So, ito na yung letter O niya. Okay? Struggle kasi kapag ganito, S-T, may kanto-kanto pa. Pangit. Mali yan. So, instead, we use this. Okay? So, next is yung word na dome. Dome. So, we have D-O-M. Dome. Okay. So, yun yung mga sample words natin for letter O. So, next is yung letter R. So, symbol ng letter R natin is this. Yan. Medyo mahaba. So, for example, yung word na ear. Ear. Spell what you hear. Ear. So, we have E-R. Okay. Next is near. Near. So, near and E-R. Near. Next is the word raid. Raid. So, we have R-R-A-D. Raid. Next is the word trade. Spell what you hear. Trade. So, we have T-R-A-D. Trade. Okay? So, next word is fear. Fear. So, the sound of F. Fear is F-E-R. 
Ay, baka wala na konta yan. F-E-R. O, oh, ulitin ko. F-E-R. Next is fair. A naman siya. A fair. So, we have F-A-R. Okay? So, spell what you hear. Ganun lang yun. So, next, uh, huh? we have letters. So, another set of combination ng O-R is, for example, mirror. So, we have mirror. M-E-R. Mirror. Next is deer. Pwede rin yung deer na ganito. Ayan. Is deer. D-E-R. Ayan. Habaan lang noon. Okay? Next is or. Or is represented by O-R. Next is more. Spell what you hear. More. M-O-R. More. Next is freed. Freed. Okay? Spell what you hear. F-R-E-D. Freed. Okay. So, ganun lang yan. Iko-combine, combine mo lang yung mga strokes to form a word. So, next letter is letter L represented by mas mahaba. Okay? So, kailangan lang kasi alam mo yung pagkakaiba through size ng bawat letters just in case na magkakamuka. So, for letter L, for example, we have the word male. Male or male. Spell what you hear. We have male M A L. Okay? So, ganito lang yung pinaka way ng writing niya. Wala na pong iba. Okay, kaya just follow kung ano yung tinuturo. Next is the word dill. Spell what you hear? D-E-L. Dill. Okay, next is still. Next is still. Spell what you hear? We have S-T-E-L. Still. Next is the word lay. Lay. Spell what you hear? Lay L. A. Next is late. Late. Okay. So, L-A-T. Ay, maba ulit. L-A-T. Okay, next is feel. Feel. Okay, so we have F-E-L. Feel. Next is fail. Fail. We have F. Fail. We have F-A-L. Fail. Next is real. Real. Spell what you hear. Here, real. We have R E L. Real. Next is spell the word live. Spell what you hear. Live. Ah, sorry. Mali ito. Live pala to. Okay, so live lang. Spell the word live. We have L E V. Ganito yung ganito ko inex kasi ganito ko inerase kasi para hindi kayo malito. Pero we have our own way on how we will, we will correct our error, ha? Ginantito ko lang para hindi nyo makita, hindi kayo malito. Okay, next is the word low. Low. L-O. Okay, and the word floor. F-L-O-O-R. Floor. So, we have F-L-O-R. Floor. Okay, so yan yung mga... Words na pwede natin mabuo with the letters O, R, L combining with the letters in lesson 1. So, actually, ito pa lang. Ang dami niya eh. Kaya kailangan talaga may intindihan mo bakit naging ganyan siya. So, please, um, this is not a drawing class. You need to understand bakit naging ganyan yung itsura niya. So, pwede nyo siyang i-pause. Ayan. Pwede nyo i-pause para makapag-review muna kayo. Okay, so actually, dun pa lang sa first set of letters natin, baka medyo nalilito na kayo ah. Kaya wag, niyong, kayo, wag kayo masyadong magmadaling malaman lahat kasi kailangan maritain talaga yung, yung word, yung stroke sa mind nyo. So under lesson 2, we still have new uh, strokes to learn. Kaya review-review kayo dito para matutunan nyo talaga. Ayan, medyo dumudugo na ilong natin. Okay, so next is the letter H and the letters... I, N, G, or the ing. Yung tinatawag natin ing. First is H, and the next is yung ing. Bakit sila pinagsama? Simply because they have the same symbol. Ang symbol ng H at ang symbol ng ing, or I, N, G, is simply dot. 
period, parang ganyan, okay? Pareho sila. Pero, um, paano, paano ko malalaman kung ano gagamitin ko? Okay? Kung, paano ko malalaman kung H ba yan or ING? Simply, kapag nakita mo yung dot or yung stroke na to, at the beginning of the stroke, it means it is letter H. Pero kapag nakita mo yung stroke na merong tuldok, it is ING. So, ibig sabihin yung tuldok, pag nasa unahan, H yun. Pag yung tuldok, nasa dulo ng stroke, ING yun. So, we have a lot of words that ends with ING. Kaya, pinag-isa na lang natin yung pinaka-symbol doon instead of including I, N, at saka G pa. So, mas madaming stroke yun. So, therefore, brief form talaga. Uh, pinaikli natin yung stroke ng ING using period na lang. Okay. So, for example, ganito, maiintindihan yan. So, let's start with the sample words in letter H. H muna tayo. For example, he. He. Okay. He. Spell what you hear. Sabi yung symbol ng H is dot. Then he. E. Yes. That's it. He. Next is the word hearing. Hear. He hearing. Ayan. So, nagkaroon na ng H din. At saka ING combination. So, what's the symbol of H? Hearing. Spell what you hear. Hear. So, we have H. ER, here, tama? Then, may ING, lagyan mo ng tuldok. Ayan. Sa pinakadulo or pinaka baba or dulong part nito ng stroke. So, this is the H, ER, then ING. Hearing. Ayan, baka nababaliw na kayo. <laughs> Kaya niyan. So, next is the word home. Home. Ayan. So, we have H. Adjust natin yung O ng paiga. Home. Ayan. Para hindi na struggle home. Ganun, hindi, ba, mali yan. Next is the word whole. Whole. So, even sa shorthand, nalalaman natin yung tamang pronunciation ng word. Kasi sa letters or the stroke included, hindi siya sinabing whole. Whole, kundi whole. So, we have letter H, whole. Spell what you hear, wala pang W dyan, walang whole. Whole. H-O-L. Whole. Okay, pwede rin yung whole na butas. Okay, whole. Next is mail. Mailing. Okay? So, spell what you hear. Mail. Mail. Ling. I-N-G. Ayan. That's it. So, all words that ends with I-N-G is simply represented by dot or period. Okay? So, grabe. Ang dami niyong nalalaman. Okay, meron pa. And this is a new vowel. So, the sound of long I. Lalagay ko dito long I. Kasi meron din tayong tatawag na short sound of I or E. So, huwag nyo muna ano yun. Baka malito kayo. Basta, yung, yung word na, ah, uh, sorry, yung pronunciation na I. I. Okay, I. Ganun siya i-pronounce. Hindi siya E. Kundi I. Kasi nasa long, long, ano tayo? I tayo. So, for example, the word my. Diba? You, we spell what we hear. My. Yung I, yung sound na I, hindi Y yung narinig mo eh. My. So, it is, o nga pala, by the way, long I is represented by parang A, pero may broken. Ayan, sa gitna. Ganyan siya isulat. Circle. Oops. So, meron siyang broken na ganito sa gitna. Yes. Broken yung I. So, yung My is represented by For example, M, I. Ganyan siya isulat. Huwag siyang isulat na M, tapos sabay, nag-I kayo na ganun. Mali. Mali yan. This is the proper writing of my M, I. My. Next. Might. Spell what you hear. Huwag kayong magbabasa sa long hands. Sinasulat ko lang. Might. Spell what you hear. Might. Oops. Broken. Ayan yung my, diba? Tapos lagyan mo ng T. Yun. Yun ang might. So, kapag mabilis, ganyan siya isulat. Okay? So, ganun. Hindi pwede mag invento tayo ng way of writing na ginanito mo, ginanito mo. Mukha ka lang drawing. Ako, hindi yan. Hindi pwede yun. So, dapat even yung pagsusulat, alam mo. Next is the word sign. I. Sign. Spell what you hear. Sign. So, this is how we will write S. I. Ayan na yan. Diba? Sign. Tapos, lagyan mo ng N. Yun. So, parang ganito siya sa mabilis. Sign. So, kailangan naiintindihan mo talaga ba't naging ganyan siya? Kung bakit ganyan ang stroke niya. So, we have S-I-N. Sign. Ano, nababaliw pa? Nababaliw na ba? Kaya pa? Kaya yan. 
This is sight. Pwede rin yung sight or sight. Basta same pronunciation, we, still, we also have the same stroke. Pero pagdating sa longhand, doon na lang magkakaiba-iba. Depende sa thought. Okay, for example, sight. So, we have S, I, T. Pataas naman. Yung ito, sign, pa straight. Yung sight, pataas. Okay? Next is high. High or high. So, we have H, I, high. Okay? Next is try. Try. Spell what you hear. Try. T-R-I, di ba? So, we have T, R, then ito yung I. Yan, na-adjust siya, depende dun sa stroke. Ulit ha, T, R, pabilog, then andito yung broken. Ayan, try. And last is the word tire. Tire, spell what you hear. We have T, tapos bilog ka dito, I, tie, R. Okay. Tire, yan ang tire. Okay, so ang mahalaga lang maalala mo lahat ng strokes. Para... Uh, maritin sa isip mo, sa utak mo, lahat to. Kasi talagang medyo dudugo ilong natin kapag hindi natin nasasubaybayan bawat uh, lesson. Okay. So, meron pa. And this will be finale of lesson 2. Kaya pa. So, we have now the omission of minor vowel. Yan. Hawa ko yung phone. Kaya medyo ano lang ha. Intindihin na lang. Omission of minor vowel. Actually, in lesson 1, part 2, nasabi ko to na inuumit na lang yung mga unnecessary letters kasi kumbaga sa text, automatic naman na naalam natin kung anong letter yun. Nababasa pa rin. Okay, so for example, for example, the word evening. So, spell what we hear. Evening. So, we have E-V, Eve, N, I, N, G. Evening. Okay. So, parang na-umit na yung E. Diba? Evening. Pero, same pa rin ng ano. Next is, meter. Ito, may omission dito. Meter. Spell what we hear. M. E. T. Alam ko na dito ilalagay yung E kasi yung kasunod na letter is pataas. Okay. Kaya pa ganyan. Meter. Instead, nalalagyan ko pa ng E, R na lang. Struggle kasi kapag nilagyan mo pa ng E, tas gumanong ka pa. So, meter, M-E-T, R na agad. M-E-T, meter. Kung baga, matik na yan na E na yun, kasi wala namang ibang wor word na pwedeng, uh, wala namang ibang pwedeng word doon. Wala namang meter. Diba, meter. So, iba yung word na meter. Next is dealer. Dealer. Spell what you hear. Huwag magbabasa eh. Baka nalilito na kayo sa sobrang daming letter. Dealer. So, we have D-E-L. Deal. Learn na lang. R. Okay? So, inumit na natin yung E. We have the dealer. Okay. Next is vital. Vital. O, may maumit dito. For example, okay. Vital. Usually, kung ano yung nasa dulo yun ang nauumit eh. V. Vi. Tama? V-I. Vi. Then T. Lagi ng T. Then L. Vital. Wala na yung A kasi struggle is real kapag nilagyan pa ng A yan. So, we omit na. Nagkakaroon na tayo ng omission of letter. Parang text. Next is final. Next is final. So, spell what you hear. F, I, Fi. Null. N. Then, lagyan mo ng L. Final. Okay. So, pag sinulat yan, mas mabilis. Fi. Null. Next is season. Usually, ito yung mga nauumit sa dulo na vowel. For example, season, S-E-C, tason, S o less, son, N. Season. Wala na yung O. Inumit na natin. Para mabilis. Season. Parang ganun siya i-pronounce. Season. Next is total. Total. Ito, total. Spell what you hear. To. T-O. To. Diba? Tas tal. T uli. Habaan mo yan. Tas L na lang. Wala na yung A. So, total. Yes. Okay. So, last. Ay, salamat. Is the word heater. Okay. So, heater is H-E. Ayan. He. E. Heater. So, H. Ito yung heat. Heat yan. Lagyan mo ng ter. R na lang. Omit the E. Okay. Yeah, finally. So, this is. Lumalabak. 
So this is the letters included in lesson 2. I hope talagang sagain niyo to, kayang kayan. Review lang and there is no other way of writing this word except this proper writing of shorthand talaga. So enjoy lang and review. Ayan, review kayo. Three days later. Yeah, so sige, let's try to write our activity. I hope hindi nyo tinignan. Uh, talagang sinubukan nyo na sagutan to sa buong uh, makakaya ng inyong isipan. Yes. So let's try to write each and evaluate yourself kung makakailan ka out of 20. So remember, spell what you hear. So for the word stone, we have S-T-O-N. Ayan, stone or S-T-O-N. Stone. So, pag ganyan, tama yan. Inadjust natin, di ba, yung O. Next is phone. We have F-O-N. Phone. Okay, next is near. N-E-R. Near. Okay, next is dome. D-O-M. Dome. Okay. Spell what year na lang, ha. Medyo nabibilis ako na. Next is trade. We have T-R-A-D. Trade. Ayan. Ano ba ang pa para, ayan, trade, trade, mas mahaba. Next is steel. So, we have S-T-E-L. Steel. Next is floor. We have F-L-O-R. Floor. Next is hearing. So, we have H, hearing, E-R-I-N-G. Hearing. Next is might. So, we have M-I-T. Might. Ayan, might. Okay, next is the word sight. Spell what you hear, so we have S-I-T, sight. Next is season, so we have S-E-S-C-S-N, -E -S omission of uh, letter, wala ni O. Next is total, we have T-O-T-L, total. Okay, next is vital. Vital is V-V-I-T-L, vital. Next is the word meter. Meter is M-E-T-R. Meter. Okay, next is dealer. Dealer is D-E-L. Deal. Omit R. Ah, sorry. Omit E. R na lang. Dealer. Next is final. We have F-I-N-L. Final. Next is freed. Freed. F-R-E-D. Okay, freed. Okay, nakakasunod ba? Next is home. So, we have H-O-M, home. Next is more. So, we have more, M-O-R. Medyo gumagalaw yung notebook lang. More. And last is heater. Heater. Okay. So, we have H-E-T, heat, ter, R na lang. Okay. So, this is the answer for our activity in lesson 2. So, please comment kung kamusta yung experience nyo learning lesson 2. Ilan yung score nyo. So, just enjoy. Huwag i-stress yung sarili. Just understand and kailangan learn with your heart. So, yun lang. So, God bless. And I hope na malaking tulong yung video na to. So, please don't forget to subscribe to promote this channel para maraming matuto. So, thank you! Ayan! So, shout out naman tayo! So, salamat po sa lahat ng mga nag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. So, let this video be a blessing to you. Salamat po sa lahat ng mga nag-subscribe at sumusuporta po sa video na to. Thank you very much. And of course, shout out sa lahat ng mga studyante ko from University of Caloacan TV at ang mga taga Pasoa. Thank you very much for supporting this channel. So, keep on watching this video para mas ma-refresh kayo sa short time. Sa lahat ng mga bago, welcome na welcome po kayo sa channel na to. So, shout out po tayo sa lahat ng mga nag-comment din sa first video ko po ng short time. Thank you kay, ayan, Diane Bongan, sabi niya nakakamins ko mag-stay na mga tapos yung lagi kang napapatayo. Kasi di ko mabasa yung mga strokes, so sobrang kaba ko pag ako nyo natatawa. Ayan, so maraming nakaka-relate, hashtag relate dyan. So sa lahat ng mga napatayo ko, alam ko napatawa dyan. Ayan, so thank you and I love you all. Ayan, thank you.
And of course, it's Daniana Tanya. Thank you, Mom. I'm waiting for chapter 3. Wow, chapter 3. So, keep on watching. Ayan. Thank you. Keep on kaming kaligaya. Sabi niya, Ma'am, same po yung number 7. Same po yung nasulat niyo. Hihi. Ayan. So, thank you rin sa pagkakorek na na. So, medyo na-overload ko na rin. So, and, ganun talaga yun. Mas magiging magaling talaga yung mga student na. And that's the goal of teaching. So, thank you. And of course, kay Hannah Joy, first timer kapatid ko, nag-take pa ng new fee. So, tong tuwa siya. So, very good. Shout out kay Hannah. Ayan. Even kay Ronnie Joy Aguipa. Hello, Ma'am. I already subscribed. And sarap po mag-refresh ulit. Ayan. Thank you. So, nanonood ka lang ng YouTube channel. So, nanonood ka lang dito. And of course, kay Mariano Manalo. Thank you dito, Ma'am. Bigas to. Para sa aming mga nalimutan ng stay with us. So, di ba kailangan mo rin balikan yung mga bagay na kinalimutan. Ayan. So, of course, kay Eric. Ayan. Thank you for unmuting. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. And of course, kay Rain Bacos. Thank you, Mama Ika. May pang-refresh po. Waiting for the next lesson yet. So, series po yung ma-upload natin. Pero nang abangan nila lang po bawat lesson. So, ako lang po. Ah, pasensya na ka sa video. Hindi na po ako yung setup talaga. Yung schedule stay na may isang pa rin ako ng phone. Para sa vlog. Kaya medyo natatagalan ako ng upload. So, ano lang. Click nyo lang yung notification bell para alam nyo na kapag in-upload ako. So, next question na din natin yung ma'am. Mag-refresh ulit ako. Yes. So, blessing kong video na to. Ma'am, Trish, paredes. Sabi niya, thank you for this, ma'am. Ika, napakalaking help dito sa mga students natin. Love you. Love you din, ma'am. So, thank you po sa appreciation. Thank you, ma'am. Magaling na prof natin. And, ma'am, ah, even kay Monica Manuel. Good morning, ma'am. Ika, yes, din po kong HRDM for you. Hello. So, welcome ka dito. Kay Justine Gorda, nakakamiss po. Yes. Hannah Joy, thanks. Ayan, ma'am. Okay. Mary Andali, mama, request po yung real voice. <laughs> so, siguro baka hindi. Itong voice ko na lang muna kasi baka matulog na kayo kapag yung real voice ko eh. So, anyway, so salamat po sa lahat ng mga uh, nag-subscribe. So, if you want to shout out ko kayo sa next vlog natin, next video natin. So, please leave comment lang dito sa video na to para doon ko na lang pabasahin yung mga papashout out. Okay? So, thank you po sa lahat. So, see you on our lesson. I could swear that this room has been running out of